Hey everyone and welcome to Race City Marine. Today you join me out on Lake Norman. We're sitting on one of our brand new 2021 Super Air Nautique GS22s. For more information on this boat or to schedule your test drive to get it out on the water for yourself, you can check out our contact information in the description below. But this model here is finished off in mystic white on the exterior. It also has a nice gray metallic flake. Moving to the interior, you'll see more of the white upholstery with the black and gray accents. And then this also has the sea deck flooring finished off in that same gray. This boat is a 22 footer. It weighs in around 4,700 pounds and it has a maximum seating capacity of 15 people. This boat also has a ballast system of 3,000 pounds and this one also has the optional pro ballast system. On the back of the boat now, you'll notice that the swim platform has more of the sea decking material. That just helps it be a little bit more slip resistant when you're getting in and out of the water. This boat also has the Nautique surf system. These are plates on both sides of the hull that protrude about an inch and a half or so and really helps to shape that wave. Also with the push of a button, you can easily go from one side to the other so your rider can easily switch. This also has the integrated wave plate and the surf pipe exhaust. What this exhaust will do is put all the exhaust fumes into the water and they'll bubble up behind your rider so no one's breathing in any harmful fumes and it also provides the boat with a quieter ride when it's underway. And now working our way above the swim platform you'll see there's a chair on both sides along with cup holders so you can hang out and relax while your friends and family are in the water. This boat also has the optional transom remote so you can easily adjust the music. And then what I really love about the Nautiques is we have a nice evenly stepped transom walkthrough. It's covered in more of that sea decking material. And then you'll also notice that you can step onto more sea decking so that way you're not stepping on any of the upholstery when you enter and exit the boat. We do have the filler cushion so when you have that extra rider, you can easily put that in place. What I love about the GS series from Nautique is this is a very universal boat as far as being able to wakeboard, surf, and even ski or tube. So we have a pylon right in the center that can come up and then you can easily hide it out of the way if you're not going to use it. Very nice feature to see. And then you can also see on both sides of the engine bay, we have the pro ballast system currently full so you can get a look at those bags. And then right in the center, we have the PCM ZR4 engine. This produces 400 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. Plenty of horsepower and torque to get this boat up and out of the water, even when fully loaded. Once in the main area of the boat here, you'll see over behind the driver's seat, we have a rearward facing seat. Just makes it much easier to get all the action on the back of the boat. All of these seats within the interior are also on hinges as well. So we can go ahead and open up that one. You'll see we have the integrated trash can along with storage for the cooler. And the flooring is also covered in more sea decking. So that just pulls any moisture if you have any wet items in there. We have more storage space over on this side. Your dual batteries are under this seat. And then we also have another rear facing seat so we can go ahead and lock that into place. There's also a lounge chair here. So with that up, you can easily rest here and have two people on this seat if you'd like to. And we can go ahead and open up the back cushion for this. You'll see there's a lot of dry storage space finished off in sea decking. And this also has the 12 inch JL audio sub in the back. As we make our way up to the glove box, you'll see there's really nice grip on the top of it, along with a see-through window, and you'll see just underneath that, we have a great spot to place your phone, so you can easily look at that. We have the head unit for the JL audio system, along with some aug other auxiliary ports as well. Making our way to the driver's seat now, you'll notice we have a race-inspired helm seat, really nice bolstering support to it. It swivels and moves forwards and backwards, and you also have a bolster here that we can easily adjust if you need a little bit extra height. One of my favorite things about this seat is the leg cutout. So with the seat locked in the forward position, you can easily turn around, talk to anyone in the boat, view your rider in the back, and easily see where you're going up front. And then of course we can turn and face forward. As I mentioned, really aggressive bolsters on both sides just to give you a comfortable feel. As we make our way over to the Link Pan Array screen, this is a touchscreen system. You also have controls over on the right side. Just in front of your armrest, you have an easy access to your throttle right here. And then we have the rotary dial in the center and some shortcuts to your rider profiles, your cruise control and audio. And then just by looking at the screen, we can use that rotary dial and look at a lot of information from your Bluetooth. You can hook up a GoPro. You have all of your vitals for the ballast system, along with your courtesy lights. You can look at your navigation. You have some other settings to go into. Over on the right side, we have some engine vitals. If we go into our switchboard, we can look at our awareness camera so you can see anything behind the boat. Making our way to the bow of the boat now, you'll notice how wide it is. We have the filler cushion right in the center so you can easily lounge out with a speaker on both sides along with cup holders. There's also more sea deck flooring on the top railing here so it makes it easier to enter and exit from the front. And all these cushions are also removable. You'll see there's more dry storage space along with more sea deck flooring. Making our way to the tower now, you'll see we have two JL audio tower speakers along with having the awareness camera mounted up top as well. Looking at these swivel board racks, all we have to do is pull this pin. We can easily move them in. They are finished off in a nice rubber material, so that way you don't ding up any of your boards. And they do have a nice angle to them to where the water will drip on the outside of the boat. 
and then making our way to folding up the bimini now all we have to do is remove both of these arms we can velcro them into place and then it's just as easy as folding both of these wings over each other with the boot now slipped onto the cover there, all we have to do is remove both of these knobs on both sides. And then from here with the shocks that we have, we can easily push this all the way up. And then we're gonna pull on these locks. There's one on each side. You just flip them 180, and then we can go ahead and push the tower down. So there's a look at our all new 2021 Super Aeronautique GS22. For more information on this boat or to schedule your test drive, you can check out our information in the description below. We look forward to seeing you guys out on the water.